Well, I think he, he tried to make a case in Oslo for a, Afghanistan as a just war. Um, I think it's salutary that an American president, rather than telling the world, tried to reason and convince the world um, of uh, the American reasoning behind the Afghan intervention. I don't agree with him on Afghanistan by any means. I think it was useful that he tried to talk about it in a, a reasonable way, in a way that George Bush never, ever would. On the other hand, I wish uh, he would be much less timid. I think there's a, a problem of timidity here as much as anything. that. He has the tools to construct a new vision of what America should be doing in the world, uh, one that's more respectful, one that relies on the revitalization, revitalization of world institutions like the UN, one that uh, prescribes more limits to American power and more uh, uh, positive action in the world rather than war and military action. He's very equipped to do that, um, but I think he's been limited by his own timidity. Uh, by his vision of what the stakes are. I mean, the, the Cairo speech is even more interesting in this regard, I think. Uh, it was a very salutary attempt to uh, give a vision to the Muslim world of a vision of development, a vision contrary, uh, as contrary as you could imagine from George Bush's vision of really imperial conquest. But he stopped by the longtime American policy of supporting the Egyptian regime, the Egyptian autocracy, the Saudi autocracy, to the tune of billions a year. This is basic American policy. And until he can start to change that, his prescriptions, however beautiful and however important, they are important uh, in speaking to young Muslims, will still be a kind of whipped cream on the top of something that should be substantial underneath. Mm -hmm.